Hi and welcome back to Aceto Corsa. So this is day number four I believe with this car on this track and we are still aiming to reach uh, the goal of uh, matching Chris Harris time with this car on this track of 1 minute uh, 49.53 so we are yeah. half second away from that goal <laughs> as we drive off in the sunset Oops. I wanted to go back, but I was still in first gear. Let's go back. Let's try to get back in frame. <laughs> Can we do some donuts in front of the camera? Oh. Not really. And we're gone. Okay. <laughs> so, let's uh, get inside the cockpit here. So we're driving uh, this 700 horsepower car which has set the lap record on Norberg and also this track and we're going in the wrong way Great start so far but it's okay Let's get inside the cockpit you and do our best So we are driving without ABS or traction control or actually no we are driving with ABS but without traction control. So let's try to do our best. Our fronts are a bit cold and rears are quite warm. But let's see, maybe we can still do a good lap time. Let's try at least. So first lap begins now. Let's break for the first corner in time. Let's take it a little bit easy, try to get used to the car. I did two or three warm-up laps before, but still when you're recording it's always a bit more pressure and a bit more excitement, so you kind of have to take it a little bit easy. So it wasn't the best exit out of that corner, you can see the ghost car running away from me there But it's okay We still keep going Same here, would be better to get on power a bit, bit quicker That's why the ghost car is pulling away so much Yeah I was in oh actually I was second gear I thought I was in first gear but yeah this car is very powerful so it wants to run away very much under power when exiting corners but I believe it's fun I believe uh, you learn car control this way with such car and especially when you're driving without traction control Probably even more if you would drive without ABS, but right now I'm driving with ABS just to just to set myself up as best as I can to beat Chris Harris lap time. So about the settings of the track, they are default and the car settings are also nothing has changed. Riding 30 liters of fuel default tires, default setting, default everything, just to keep it as competitive as possible. Quite okay, first corner. This could have been better, but it's okay. Just turn in. Nice, good exit. This was the good. Let's try to keep it that way. Back on the power nice and early. Could have probably gone back on power a bit earlier even. But it's okay. Braked a bit too much here. Nice and fast out of the corner on the power and break turn in back on the power nice let's go 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Break now. No, no, no. I messed up. Went into a slide and then didn't break because I wanted the car to settle in again and then I was already out of the corner. But it's okay. We saw some glimpses of hope during the lap. So, let's keep going, let's keep pushing. Slap. Right late. Not a very good exit, but I'll take it. Actually, it wasn't that bad. Turn in, brake again. And deep in the corner, the corner board, don't spin. Could have gone smoother, probably, but yeah, it's okay. Same here, went very wide and got a lap cut detected. That's unfortunate. I think it was good exit speed in this corner, so maybe we have a good chance for the next lap, let's see. Lead wide. to keep it nice and smooth that worked out Braked late Break a bit deeper in the corner. Yeah, this was not ideal. Should have break deeper in the corner as well there. But it's okay. It is what it is. Nice fast exit, would have been our new fastest lap, but we got a lap cut detected. Not that good, but 
Let's just keep going. Ooh. Kind of wide there. I think I can break a bit later there also. Still going fine, I think. Okay, this time I uh, seem like I break a bit later. That's good. Back on the power. Nice and smooth. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's do this. No, I messed up. Don't go wide, don't go wide. Break a bit. Back on the power. Ooh. Yeah, new fastest lap, but we didn't beat Chris Harris time, but we got very close, very close. 190, 149.6, and Chris Harris did 149.53. So. Let's do a final lap of the day. Probably this will not beat the previous lap. Previous lap was pretty clean. But still, let's finish the lap. Let's go a bit deeper this time here. Maybe a bit too deep. Sliding around a lot in this lap. Not bad. Let's do some 360s if we can. <laughs> we. <laughs> A lot of 360s, 360s, but we hit the wall. So maybe a little bit of sliding in the end. Second gear. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. what about some donuts? Because we set a new fastest lap. Let's do some donuts. Second gear donuts. Why not? No, it's so hard to do donuts with this car. I should be doing them in first gear, but first gear seems even harder than second gear because because of the turbo lag, because of the short. Uh, okay, let's try. Yeah, it just uh, stalls every time I I release the throttle a little bit. It just stalls. And clutch, there is no clutch, so it can't really press the clutch in. <laughs> yeah, that's that. But anyway, um, I don't know what else we can do. We can try to do a 180 maybe. Oh, didn't happen. Let's try again. <laughs> 
360. Let's try this again, yeah. Oh. No, <laughs> again 360. <laughs> okay, this time we did the 180. And can we do a reverse 180? Need to engage first gear. Kinda. <laughs> yeah, sliding with this car is not very easy. It has so much grip. But anyway, uh, let's uh, end it here. I will say thank you very much for watching. We have a new fastest lap. Slowly, slowly we are progressing and we are very, very close to beat Chris Harris time. If you want to see the video of Chris Harris uh, lapping this track with this car, it is in the description of this video. But for now, I will say thank you very much for watching. Obu signing out. Peace and have a good day.